Yo guys, what's up? It's Crips, and welcome to another quick fashion video. So today's video is going to be a pretty much a little follow-up to the previous video I made, which is how to make a Blackout Hunter set. Now, if you haven't already seen it, go and check it out. It gives you some tips and shaders that you should use on making a full Black Hunter set. Now, I'm going to be showing you all the cloaks that I found with all the gear that I got back in year one, all the way up until now, which work with the Faceless Hunter look. Now if there is any that I've missed, please go ahead and comment them down below. But I do believe I've gone over all the possible ones, or at least the really good ones. And yeah, before I get into these cloaks, I'm going to be telling you all how to make a Faceless Hunter. So the first way to make it is to use the Dragonflare Regalia Helm from the Eververse Archive, and then you want the Tangle Bronze Shader on it. Now, I forgot to mention this in my previous video, but Tangle Bronze is no longer in the game, as the gear dropped from has been sunset. So an alternative you can use to this is the Prefectus Mask with the Abyssinian Gold Shader which was sold this season in the Writer's Store. And I will be using this Black Dot set from my last video to be able to show them off. I'm going to be going over all the cloaks in the game that can be used with the Faceless Hunter look. Now there isn't actually that many because not many cloaks come this far forward. But anyways it's time we get straight into the first cloak. It is the Solstice 2018 cloak, the Resplendent version. Now this cloak was from the Sources of Heroes in, back in 2018 so it's no longer acquirable. Now I'm showing you the gold version of this just so that you can see this one works if you are planning to use any gold on a Faceless Hunter. But personally I would change it to the rekindled version so it goes quite plain like this. And as you can see on the dark set it looks really nice. Now the next cloak I'm going to be showing you is the Holdfast cloak and it's probably what most people have been using. And this is currently in this season's legendary loophole. I think it's probably one of the better ones you can use, especially with this set I've made because as you can see with the Lux, it matches quite nicely together. You can also use the Siege Break ornament, which is from the Season of Revivals Pass. Now this is no longer acquirable, but if you do like it, this also works as it takes pretty much the same design as the Holdfast Cloak, but instead just adds this unshadable orange with this logo here instead and this big overarching wire. So I think this still looks really nice, but personally I prefer the original because it hasn't got like any unshadable bits and you can make it like pretty much a full black set. The next cloak I want to show is the Aphrodite's Iron Cloak from the Iron Banner in Year 1. This is possibly my favourite and the best looking one in terms of creating a faceless hunter as there's a lot of shadow casting from the hood. So even at like the, you know, the angles where they'd be the most light, there still isn't even that much light coming through. And I just think overall it's just a really cool appearance. Now this is not obtainable as it did come from the Warmind DLC during Iron Banner. So if we do see a return of this in the future, then I'd highly recommend going and grabbing it because it's probably one of the best cloaks they've made for the Hunter. But unfortunately you cannot get it as of right now. The next cloak that I'm going to be showing is the Scaring Corvus cloak. Now this cloak was from the Halloween event which is the Festival of the Lost. Now this one is quite nice if you're creating like a bit of like a scavenger look. The only bad thing about this cloak is it is unshadable back here. But it does look really cool at the front with the hood. The next cloak would be the Neoteric Cloud cloak from the Eververse Archive. Now I quite like this cloak uh, mainly because of the actual design. It's got a nice warp on the back with a lot of fur. It's not too bad so if you do want to pair this with a bunch of other like fur pieces or even in general just use it like this. It will look really nice on most sets. The only bad thing is that the fur is completely unshaderable, so you will have to deal with these white bits going around the whole cloak. Now the next cloak that works really nicely with the faceless look is the Wildwood cloak from the EDZ packages. So you can get this right now in game, it's fairly easy. Just go to Devon K in the European Dead Zone, turn in packages until you get this cloak, and it works fairly well with this. I really like the torn back of this because yeah again you can make like a nice cool scavenger set or even like a blacked out ranger set a bit like what I made previously in one of my previous hunter videos. Another cloak which works quite well with this is the Exodus Down cloak from the Nessus packages. Now the only bad thing about this is that this orange going around is not shaderable so you won't have to deal with that when using this as well as the white tape going around with a little buckle. But I do think it looks quite cool nonetheless. Now the next cloak is a cloak called Home which drops from Ledger Dream Grams. Now I've received this countless times from Powerful so you can easily get this. You just gotta have a bit of RNG when opening Ledger Dream Grams. It very easily masks the face and I think it looks quite nice. 
The only bad thing is this lighter white coming across the whole outer rim of the cloak is non shaderable The next cloak is the Memory Arcade cloak which I would easily say is one of the best hunter cloaks for fashion right now. If you're going to make a white set this will look really nice because this cloak blends in very well together with white shaders. Although we're creating like a full black set and not be able to get rid of this white on the back. But it does look really cool from the front. The next cloak which works really nice is Reverie Dawn. Now the only issue I had was I dismantled this by accident and then when I ran the shattered from this week I wasn't able to reobtain it because uh, RNG was not on my side but as you can see the cloak does come over and I can confirm that it does create an all black look and this can drop from Dreaming City bounties which reward legendary gear and also the shattered from dungeon now the next cloak is the Frumius cloak which stops from the new light quests and this cloak works as well but not as well as the others I've shown as you can see a little bit there but also this cloak is only white really well you can only really get this cloak white as the top of the hood is non shaderable now the next cloak is the War Mantis cloak which is actually a blue drop now you will be able to use this in transmog when it becomes available next season but yeah this is quite nice if you like short capes now there are two final cloaks I want to show off that work alright with this I want to show them off anyway in case anybody like them so the first one is the warm winter cloak from the dawning event so as you can see there's a little light seeping through here but when you turn it at the angle it does go faceless but on the back as you can see it doesn't look so good and the next one is the canis lunar cloak which again seeps through a little light but when you turn it at a slight angle it does go faceless but yeah that's pretty much the video i just want to show you all a bunch of cloaks which you may not have known worked with the faceless hunter look and I really do hope this helped you out. Again, if you need any help with making a black set or any of the good shaders to use, please go and check out my previous video. I showed off a bunch of gear which will work really well in a full black set, as well as shaders. So yeah, I do really hope this helped you out. But anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.